feel like a complete mess right now. I'm trying not to feel embarrassed about it because like it happens, life happens, and um, things get messy. I haven't been wanting to vlog, I have not been wanting to film because honestly like I have let my things that I'm going through mentally and like emotionally now show on the outside of like I'm disorganized I have been waking up super late I've been waking up at like 10 a.m. and um, I just don't feel good a lot of things have changed in my life recently and it's caused me to be really sad but I have been feeling a lot better recently mental health is on the up and up but we have some cleaning up to do when I'm not okay. I'm admitting that I'm sad because I have so many blessings, but you can't let that invalidate your feelings or stop yourself from getting better. It's like I know exactly how to help myself. I know exactly what things to, to move in the right direction, but it's been so hard to get myself to do that. And in the end, the only way to get there is, is by me. Like the only way to make positive changes is by just making the positive changes. And I have to hold myself responsible. The hard part is sometimes you don't even realize that you've been sad and in a tough place in your life until you start to come out of it. And then you look around like, what just happened? <laughs> That's kind of where I'm at. <laughs> But you can easily shift your mindset into thinking like what a privilege it is to be able to take care of myself and how good it's gonna be when it's all done. Like having a clean room, like I can't wait. I feel like a closet clean out and a drawer clean out could be a whole other video, but I just want to get it done right now. I have trouble opening and closing every single one of my drawers and this is a part of the like feeling better. Clear space, clear mind, I always say that. And even if it's in the drawers and like tucked away, I still feel the mess. I'm still aware of it, so I need it to be clean. I didn't get rid of much. I'm gonna donate that and then organize all of this into here. That's good enough. This is all PR, which I have been piling up in the corner because I want to make sure that I like make good use of it by trying each product, seeing if I like it, and then deciding if I want to like share with you guys or like do giveaways. As you can tell, it's taking up a lot of my room, so I need to organize it. space and then we clean our bodies. Having my room all nice and clean is making my nighttime routine even more satisfying because I am excited to go and lay in my bed and get a good night's rest. I'm doing a nice extensive skincare routine because I've been breaking out so badly. This is just a result of stress, hormones. I say all this with like no judgment. I'm not putting myself down for it because we all go through different seasons of life, different eras. There's no reason to put yourself down for it, but it's good to recognize that we need to like start taking care of ourselves in certain ways. Like I don't want to be breaking out. I don't want to be not taking care of my body right. I haven't been feeling good, so I want to do the things that I know make me feel good. Properly taking care of myself and my skin, my diet, stuff like that. I feel so much better.
a specific book. All it takes is one video to pop on my For You page about some self-help book for me to go running to Barnes & Noble. Today's book was The Courage to Be Disliked. Hi, I'm Lindsay, and I care a lot about other people's opinions on me, and I don't know when that started happening. I've not always been this way. I have not been someone that has been like stuck and paralyzed by the fear of what other people think and how other people view me. But recently, I have been just like living life through this filter of other people's opinions and judgments, and the only thing that does is take away from your happiness. If you're not truly living life the way you want to, if you're not truly being yourself because you are just worried about other people, how are you gonna be happy? How are you gonna live the life that you wanna live? And that's just a totally normal thing people go through. You could do everything right. You could do everything perfectly and there's still gonna be people that hate you. I don't know how I got to the point where I overthink everything I post online and everything that I like do and how I'm perceived and I don't like it. Not even just because this is like my job now, but I, I just don't want to feel like this in general. It's, it's starting to like bleed into different parts of my life where I am constantly thinking about how other people are perceiving me and I just don't like that. So that's why I got this book. But I did not get the book because it was $30 and I found it on Amazon for 19, so I just ordered it on Amazon. I want self-help, but I want it on a budget. thing that I really 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 need to work on is organizing and being a little bit more self-disciplined with like my schedule on things kind of just goes along with like the whole like getting my shit together staying organized I am someone that thrives off of getting out of routine but still like doing the same things meaning doing like my non-negotiables but maybe I do them like out of order switch things up go to a coffee shop but maybe go to a different coffee shop work out but maybe go to a workout class I have been thriving off of switching it up and changing it up but with that it's hard to stay organized and very self-disciplined when your schedule is kind of different every single day so I found this whiteboard in my room it's like a calendar and instead of doing it like every single day writing like a thing or two that I have that day I'm gonna use it as like my work content schedule you don't have to use this just for content you can just use it for like your daily to-do list but I think that this visually works really well for me so this looks like a regular calendar you just have for the month but instead I'm using it for a week labeling it the day of just this specific week and then writing everything that I have to do on each day I'm using this strictly for like filming posting all that I need to get more um, dry erase markers so I can have it color coded as well this is gonna be so good I love this so much because honestly like having a monthly calendar in my room just wasn't really working for me it was almost like too overwhelming of looking at the whole month this is good to just look at the week look at this specific day it feels like a little bit less overwhelming which is something that I need because I stress out those are videos that are strictly just for like telling you guys what's going on in my life sometimes it feels weird because I'm like literally just making a whole video about how I'm feeling but I like being fully transparent with you guys on like what's going on in my life in case you've noticed something, whoa, you guys are falling over, <laughs> a different vibe in my video, or if you've noticed something is also off. And, okay, this is not a great tripod. It's very easy for me to make it seem like I have it all together and like everything is good. It's also very easy for me to push off negative emotions and to keep telling myself that it's like, you know, I'm fine. Almost like desensitizing myself a little bit from my negative emotions. But I wanna be honest with myself and be honest with you guys. That right now I just like don't have it all together but we're figuring it out especially recently going into like fall and winter and the time change and everything that just automatically messes with my mental health and I already start feeling like a little bit low in general so if the weather and the time change and like the sunlight and everything really affects your mental health this is your sign that you need to stay on top of these things stay on top of taking care of yourself, staying top of doing your non-negotiables, staying on top of getting up and doing things and staying on your to-do list. Cause it can get really hard, but we're in it together. Drink your water, move your body, 
get some sunlight as much as you can talk about your feelings whether that's with friends family or just in your journals stay on top of things but also don't be too hard on yourself let yourself have fun it's a balance of the two and even if you have been out of balance for a while like how i've been it's never ever too late to find your balance again it's never too late to just wake up one morning and start doing those things again you may feel stuck and you may feel in a hole like how i have felt but you're not you're not stuck you just have to make the decision you just have to like force yourself over time it will get better even if immediately you don't feel great it really is the consistency of it and it's just the like getting up and doing it especially especially when you don't want to that's honestly like when you need to do those things the most i just love you guys so much and i hope that you're doing okay and thank you for always holding space for me to talk about things like this i just love you so much wait wait wow another thing good for the soul are warm cookies well, I usually just say chocolate chip cookies, but I got crumble cookies, chocolate cookies, and cream. Oh my god. Mmm. Mm. I think this is one of the best ones I've tried at crumble. I, I actually haven't had crumble many times, but this one's so good. It has like white cream in it and Oreo crumbs. I need to film a video like trying all the flavors for one week. So I've never done that before. I've never tried like all of them together. I love cookies.